Back on the 1979 ship in Malibu, Life with the Ikes. I'm in the process of doing a video. I'm painting the jams. I'm about to paint the jams on the actual car, but before I paint the jams, I still gotta paint the jams up under the deck lid. But before I paint those, I was thinking about putting this spoiler on. Go ahead and put the, the kit on. But I'm not gonna be able to put the those pieces down until I put the car back together. But I can paint the, well not paint, I can put the spoiler on. Because if I don't put it on now to paint the jam, I'm not gonna be able to paint this part here. Because, let me show you, it actually hang over. See it hang over right here. So I'd rather go ahead and put this on so I can paint up under it and up under the spoiler at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and install this and we're gonna install everything on the video but it's gonna take a few days for me to do it because i have i gotta put the car back together but we're gonna get started on this spoiler first so i'm gonna get all my tools and the stuff that i'm gonna need and then i'll cut y'all back on all right this is what i came up with i talked to life with the ikes i asked him did he want the spoiler sitting up high like this above the key keyhole he told me to drop it down some, so in order for me to drop it down, I have to cut it out. And that's what I got the red sharper there. It's not perfect where it need to be. I'm just trying to get a somewhat where I need to cut it. And once I cut it, I trim it on out. So let me cut it out. And I was thinking about cutting it out with my body saw. It's probably gonna be the easiest thing to cut it out. Okay, you can see I got it cut out. I had cleaned it up with my die grinder with some sandpaper on it. Let's take it over here. See what we're working with. It's going to be sent down round about right there. I'll fill the rest up with fiberglass, shape it up. And I'm going to take my, take a pen, go around the outline of the spoiler so I know where to sand at. That's my outline. Now I take my right hanger grinder. Now I clean out. I'm gonna take it down to brown metal from a little bit over from the red line on both sides. All right, there we go. Let's set this back on now. The reason why I grind it down to brown metal because I'm going to put some fiberglass filler just to hold it in place until I put fiberglass mat on it. Give it something to bond to. Now you can see these ends stick out farther than the deck lid itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some fiberglass filler and fill this up. Just on the end. On both sides. And here's the fiberglass filler I'll be using. Good glass. I got my fiberglass filler in my hand. I also took my DA, sanded it down some. As you can see, on both sides. Now I'm gonna take me some fiberglass filler. I'm gonna wipe it along my edge here. Also on this edge. Then I set it on top of the deck lid and let it set up and harden up so it'll stay in place. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I got the uh, spoiler set where I want it. I had one back with some fiberglass filler. Made that transition a lot smoother also. Now what we'll do, we'll cut up some fiberglass mat. I got some fiberglass mat here. Got some strips out to put over it. Put over the transition. Strengthen it up. 
and just the resin. Guess I cut me some of this mat off. This wind stopped blowing. I'm gonna blow my mat everywhere. Trying to do it outside. It's kind of windy today. Should be good enough for us to mix. Get me a chip brush. Bring it over here to my dick lid. Brush some on. Then I'm gonna put my fiberglass mat that I cut out right on top of it, let it soak in. Guess we're stamping it up. And I'm gonna take my brush and dab some more on. Put another layer right on top of this. Okay, here's the five glass mat and resin. I'll let this dry. Once it's dry, I'll catch y'all back on. Probably in the morning. Look like it's about to rain. Got it secured now. Okay, you can see the fiberglass filler. Not the fiberglass filler, but the fiberglass mat and resin. It done dry out. On both sides. Now I take my DA with some 80 grip. Knock it down somewhat smooth. Okay, I got it knocked down with the 80 grit. Now I'm gonna take some dura glass, fiberglass filler. Wipe the skim coat on it. Somewhat even it on out. Fiberglass filler. Now I take the DA. Now I knock this down somewhat smooth like I did before. I did this in two different wipes. First I wiped this area, then I sanded it down, knocked it down some, then I came back and wiped this area. Then once I uh, knock it down, we're going to body filler. We're going to be going to this lightweight body filler by Epicoat because it's easy to block it with the body filler it's hard to get this fiberglass filler trying to block that after the knockdown with 80 grit you gotta fill up this little valley here. 
We're gonna do that with butter filler. Like I said, it's much easier to block. Have a coat Z grip. Here's the lightweight filler. I wipe the skim coat over everything. It's a lot easier to block. Sort of wiping it in spots. We got some 80 grit on the DA. We just gonna knock this down before we start blocking it. It'll make it a lot easier, make your job a lot easier because trying to cut through this top layer, you'll be there all day. We're gonna knock the top layer off with this 80 grit. I pretty much got it knocked down, shaped up somewhat, but I seen some more lower areas. That's why you can see different color tone. I went back and filled those areas. Once it dry completely, I knocked that down, then we'll start blocking. I'm gonna put a guide coat on it before we block it. It's gonna be a dry guide coat. All right, let's mix this guide coat up. We'll wipe some on. It's going to help us find all our low airs and high airs. You can use some flat black spray paint if you ain't got none of this here. I like to use the uh, spray paint right before wet sanding. I use this during the blocking of the filler. Now we'll put some Ada grit on this rounded block because we're going to be using this rounded block on this contour. But if we use the flat block, it's not going to make this contour here. So what we're going to do, go in the X pattern like normal, back and forth. If you still see guide coat, that means you need to still come down. Get the air hose that I saw you. See that? That's low down. So we gotta come down some more. Here we go. Finished up with the 80 grit locking. I found a low area here that I'm going to feel. I think that's about it in this top section. Well, it's a little spot there that I feel also. And what you're seeing here, this fiberglass filler, and that's body filler. That's why it looked different. And on the trunk, well, on the back part, the deck lid, this here low, somewhat low down. That's low, this low. This here low. Also here. So I go ahead and fill those there. Then in the morning, we'll block those down. Get ready to shoot the primer. I'm ready to shoot my first run of primer now. I'm trying to beat the rain to start the sprinkling, but I gotta be able to get it on before it starts raining.
Now we'll put some gag coat on it. I'm gonna put some red. I'll start blocking it tomorrow. I'll let the primer dry on up. I got a little roll out here with me. <laughs> Now we're gonna use some 180 grit. We're gonna use this flat block until we get up in here. Then we'll use the rounded block. This block here. Going in the X pattern. You can take your blow holes and blow it off because your sandpaper might start clogging up with this 180. Just moving the guy, coach. So you can see this area here low, so we gotta come on down with it. Okay, as you see, I got everything blocked. I found one area that I gotta address. This area here, you can see the guy, coach, still there, so I gotta put some, I'm gonna put some two part glaze and put it out. I hope you can see it. It's the glaze and put it out, be using. Liquid gold you power. Once I put that down, let it dry, I block it. Then we'll shoot some more prime on it. Two part glaze and put it. Here's the second run of primer. I could just leave it like this here, but I think I'm gonna block it one more time. So I'm gonna spray some more guide coat on it. It's kind of wind out here. Every second something falling on it. But this ain't number guide coat. I'm gonna use black this thing. I think one more time I ought to get it. It look good now, but it don't hurt to do it again. This will be the final block. I got the rounded block like I had before in the same grit, 180. You could use 320, but I'm priming it again to cover up these 180 stretches. So it ain't gonna be no big deal. Same process as before. Going in the X pattern. I'm just gonna hit this from here down with the rounded, then I'm gonna hit the flat. I'm gonna use the flat block on this. I might use the smaller block this time. But the same process. Ready for my final prime. I had a few high areas, like right here, where I cut through the primer, made it back down to the filler, also up here. And there's another spot. Let me show you. Right there. The rest of it was pretty flat. But we're gonna shoot our final round of primer now. There was a hot spot right there as well.
here's the results for the fiberglass molded in spoiler y'all tell me what y'all think about it i know i said when i started this video that was going to be installing we're installing the spoiler also the front and back bumper and the lip front lip but this video been long so i think i'm gonna do that in a separate video i just really wanted to install the spoiler at this time so i could paint the bottom of the deck lid so i can get this part when i paint the deck lid see if i would have painted it now then i would put the spoiler on then the bottom of this one had been painted so that was the main reason why me putting the spoiler on but y'all stay tuned for the rest of the rest of the kit i've been installing it making a video of it but y'all tell me what y'all think here we go Right from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right never stop. Right from the bottom.